what's up rangers i'm back today with a asian snack haul for you and i got some things from dollar tree and a few things from 99 cent store but it was so funny i went to dollar tree but before i went to dollar tree i tried to put myself on the on a budget i watched some of you ladies and you guys go oh i'm only gonna spend this much money or whatever so yeah i put myself on a 20 dollar budget at Dollar Tree and the 99 cent store so that's like I'm trying to split up $20 between those two stores and th so I left my purse at home not in the car because I would have just went out to the car and got it so I took $20 and some tax and I went to um, Dollar Tree Dollar Tree didn't really have that much but they had some things and uh, the 99 cent store had lots of makeup i'm talking about revlon lipsticks maybelline lipsticks pounds and pounds of essie polishes i have to really go back to the 99 cent store and clean up on the pot i don't need any more polishes but i've seen a few colors of essie polishes polishes that i wanted to get and i'm definitely going to go back and check that out and they had a lot of makeup they had like five big boxes but it's so messy they just have it all thrown together they're like oh i don't feel like digging through this and they also has some baby lips so i'll be probably taking another visit back there tomorrow or the next day but so yeah let me stop going on and on and get started with the haul the first thing i'm going to show you is um this fruit moochie look at this box this is just look at this box it is super cute okay and fruit mochi is a rice ball with fruit in the middle and these are really good we already been eating these and they're almost done and the packaging looks like this okay and it's a rice ball in there it's basically rice they like beat together you know stuffed fruit or red bean or whatever in the middle these are extremely good i love the packaging it's super cute and these are really good these are it's a weird texture at first but you get used you can get used to it you either hate it or you love it so yeah i picked up some of these and these are a product of taiwan and i also in a previous asian snack haul i did show you guys the japanese um mochi and those are really good too but those are a lot more pricey and so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get go on with the next item next i picked up these hello kitty candies okay and uh, they come with three different flavors uh i don't see the flavors but i'm gonna open it i think it's like a soda flavor strawberry flavor and lemon i could be wrong but look how cute that bag is super cute and they are so cute and they look just like this the pink one and the blue one how cute are these and how cute are these for easter it's a little hello kitty bunny on there i mean i remember going to the hello kitty store or san reno when i was younger and the stuff is pricey in there the candy everything and i remember things like this but i'm loving these i picked up a couple packages of these a couple for friend mail now i picked up some of these milky candies you might have seen them in the previous haul but i ordered like a box of them so i could send some out for friend mail these are really good these are by far my favorite candy and all their candy, these are all, this is Japanese candy, the last two packages I showed you. And all their candy is always individually wrapped. And look at the packaging is so cute. And these are good. This is like a hard candy strawberry coating. And then the inside is like a cookie crisp. It's really good. I love these. These are really good. I'm pretty sure a majority of you guys would like these. Unless you don't like strawberry. Next, I picked up these lots concho uh biscuits these are korean biscuits i believe and they have a little heart shape on them and they have little sayings on the biscuit or little characters and they're stuffed with a little bit of chocolate in the inside and ladies these are so cute you open it like this and it has a little cute little packaging in there and then it's full of the cookies but these are so adorable for like valentine's day to hand these out 
So I picked up three of these. A couple for some free mail I have to do. And then I picked up these strawberry marshmallow, um, Hello Kitty marshmallows. And they come in mango. And they have, they come in chocolate and another flavor. But I picked these up. And these are really good. And I picked up one pack of these. And they're stuffed with jelly. Next, I picked up these Lucky Stars chips. These are really good. They're shaped like stars and hearts and diamonds. And these are really good. And these are Chinese chips, I believe. And they taste like... They remind me of pork skins, but they don't really taste like pork skins. They're just like... That's what they remind me of. They have that kind of taste to them. And they're really good. And they got a little spicy kick to them. But they're really good. I love them. Next, I picked up some strawberry tea. If you guys seen my previous video, you know this is one of my favorites. This is like a corn puff with like a strawberry chocolate over it. It is really good. And it's like made with real chocolate. I mean real strawberry bits. So you can, you know how sometimes strawberries are, have that little sour like tingy taste. You can definitely taste these in these chips. These chips are amazing. So I picked up, this was $1.99 for this pack. And then they had these really little ones. Look how smaller this is in that. And these were a dollar and this was $1.99. So I don't know what that's about. But I had to get them. I thought they were so cute. And I'm gonna send a few packs and some friend mail. Next, I picked up these Boy Cornic Barbecue flavored um, little chips or whatever, but they're they're like corn nuts. You guys, I'm sure most of you guys know what corn nuts are. They're like corn nuts, but they're called corn nicks, and they're a little bit, they're not as hard as corn nuts, a little bit more airier, and these are really good. I love these, and this is in the bar barbecue flavor, and this is a Filipino product. Oh. Next, I picked up a box of this Hello Panda strawberry filled. These are Japanese cookies, and they just have little characters on them and filled with strawberry. We love these. You could sometimes you can find these at Walmart in the Asian aisle, and a lot of places carry these. Toys R Us everywhere. So I picked up a couple of those for some free mail. Then. I picked up some of this caramel corn puff, and this is like the strawberry corn puff, but this is a Chinese product, I believe, and this is chocolate flavored, and I'm not the, a really big chocolate fan, I'm like vanilla strawberry girl, but these are extremely good, and I picked up a few packs of these. Next, I pick up this box of uh, Japanese caramels. They come in this, it's a pretty big size of caramels. And these are the same people that make haichu. If you guys you know what haichu is, they sell those. You can find those at your gas station or your market or Walmart or whatever. And they look like this. And I picked up, this is a bigger box. I usually get a bag and this is a really big box. And I thought it was really cute. And you get quite a bit in there, and these are really good caramels right up there with the Werther's. You guys definitely should check these out. <clears throat> okay. Then I picked, so this is just more of the popcorn. And then I picked up my all-time favorite, okay, is Strawberry Pocky. I love Strawberry Pocky. I picked up a few boxes of this, and this is like the Valentine edition, and it has this distinct heart on it, and that's how all the sticks inside are shaped, and I got this pack open, so I'm going to show you what they look like. They look like this, and it got the little heart package. How cute are these? And you get maybe five or six sticks in it, and it's like the Strawberry Popcorn. It has little strawberry bits in it. And it's really good and this is not like the original strawberry pocky this is like a premium kind so yeah it, it comes with three packs in there I love the packaging look how cute this is you close it back up like that so I picked up three boxes of those a couple for friend mail I love this strawberry pocky 
and they got new packaging because it used to look a little bit different then i picked up some of these miji apollo little chocolates there's strawberry on top and chocolate on the bottom i picked up a couple of bottles boxes of these but i sent some out already the thin mail and they look like this you can see they're really cute and it has chocolate on top i mean strawberry chocolate on top and chocolate on the bottom so i picked up those and of course i picked up a family size of halo panda you get 10 in a box and i got these so i hope to take them to school she loves halo panda and they have these at Toys R Us. If you ever want to go get on the hunt for them. And then lastly, I got some new candy. I don't really know much about these. This is a Korean fruit candy. It's called New Fruit Land is the name of them. And look at this metallic package. How cute is that package, right? Anyway, so I'm going to open them and show you guys what they look like. Look. So they look like this. This is a green one and a grape one. Really cute. And orange. I thought these were, these were really cute. I never had these before, so these are pretty new to me. Okay, yeah, so I think that is it for... Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I got some Miji Yan Yan. You can find this at Walmart and it's just little sticks with little sayings on it and then you dip it into the chocolate and they also have it in a hello kitty style so i picked up one of those and i, I forgot about all kinds of stuff i picked up these lots um strawberry filled cookies these are um I don't know, just went super blank. I forgot what these are called, but these are little cookies, strawberry cookies too. Go um, koala um, cookies with strawberry filled inside. And look how cute this box is. And they also come in family size in the boxes just like this. And yeah, I, they're co and they're called Koala March. And these are really good too. But I kind of like um, Hello Panda a little bit better. Next, I picked up, we already been eating these, but I did post these on Instagram. I got this soft milk candy. So this, and it, this is Japanese chewy candy. It's kind of like caramel, but it's not caramel. And it tastes like condensed milk. And these are really good. I love these. These are premium. These bad boys are like $5. And then I got them in the Hello Kitty version. We already been eating these. And then the same, they taste like condensed milk and they come with the really cute packaging. These are really good, really good. If you come across these or you can order them online, you should definitely try these. These are the best. So yeah, that's it for all the Asian stuff that I got, Asian snacks I got. And I'm gonna go ahead and get into the things I got from Dollar Tree. First and foremost, Nyla is getting bunnies. This is like the third one she got. And she got this bunny. They already have the Easter stuff out there. I didn't really look at the Easter stuff because that's crazy. I'm not going to start looking at Easter items. So she picked up this bunny. And you see, I still have this little pink Christmas tree up back here. It's so cute. Nyla likes it. And I haven't took it down yet. And I might just put some valentine ornaments we might diy some valentine ornaments and just put them on there the tree's pink she likes it and then when easter comes around we can hook get a bunch of these little bunnies and put hooks in them and hang them on the tree it'd be cute so yeah anyway next thing i got was these satin pillowcases and they're in red from dollar tree and i forgot who i was watching and they had haul these and i was like ooh, and the so I decided I was going to pick these up. And these are good for your hair to sleep on when you're going to bed. This is, this is good for the hair. So she had said that in the video. I cannot remember her name. But yeah, I picked up two packs of these and they're in the red. Next, I picked up this mattress cover in a queen 
and I thought I had just got my little new bed and I thought I would just go ahead and cover it with this so she doesn't mess it up and have it under her bedding so I picked up one of these hopefully this will work out I know it's cheap it's a dollar but maybe it will do the job okay next from Dollar Tree I picked up one of these Sunbeam one indoor floodlights they do have these here there these are awesome if you see these just definitely try them and next from Dollar Tree I picked up some of these luminous apple cinnamon candles these are the only ones they had but I had to get some candles and I know these work really well they stink up the house there's not much product in there but they work really good so I picked up two of those then I picked up some of this white rain bubble wash, uh, body wash, bubble wash, body wash coconuts. <clears throat> and it smells really good, so I decided to pick it up. I like coconut. And then I picked up another, they didn't really have much makeup there at Dollar Tree. And I picked up another one of these Profusion eyeshadows. And these are like browns and golds and some pinks. And like I said, these are real pigmented. If you see these at your store, you should definitely pick them up. And then I got one Halo palette. And it's a bunch, it's like a bunch of blues. And I really like the packaging on this. It's really nice. Then I picked up one LA, Cut LA Colors Auto Eyeliner, and it's in black brown. Like I said, they didn't really have much, or they haven't put out the stock or whatever, so yeah. That's it for that. Then I found all the movies were like wiped out, but I found one, and they just had like repeats of this one. So I picked up the Mail Order Bride, and that was the only one that I got. But I've seen everybody calling movies. Sit down. Then I picked up two jars of the Welch's or Welch's um, Concrete Grape Jelly. I usually use jam to make uh, Welch's jam because it spreads better on the bread for Nyla's lunch. But I picked up two of these. Their name brand, and I picked up two of them from Dollar Tree. Look how cute these jars are. So I picked up two of these. Okay, next, I picked up some more of those mini pizza crusts. We had a little bit of fun, a lot of fun with these last week, so I decided to get another pack. And then, I only, oh, and then I got some of this freaking Brim Snack popcorn that everyone is going on and on about. I had to get some because we had to try it. Everyone talked about how good it is and it's theater style and whatnot. So I picked some up and then when I was leaving the G GM at Dollar Tree was like, this popcorn is awesome. It is really good. I've seen people come in and buy six and seven bags of it. So yeah, I'm very excited about to try that. And I almost forgot I had one more Japanese candy to show you and these are called Kiwi Drops <clears throat> and they come with eight different flavors melon lemon peach strawberry orange grapefruit boysenberry and grape and these are really cute I love these and they look like this and it comes with two little cube shaped candies in there I don't know if you can see that Sorry, the lighting has been bad, like the, first, the last couple of days. The weather's bad, kids are getting sick, flu season, kids are dying here. So, lastly, I got the, I only got <clears throat> some facial wipes from the 99 cent store. I picked up three packs of these Global Beauty, I love these, these Global Beauty collagen cleansing cloths. So I just picked up three of these, and then I picked up one pack of the Argan Oil. They always have these there now, and Dollar Tree had the light blue package. I don't know what kind they are, I can't remember, but yeah. Sorry, I was all over the place here in this haul, but yeah, that's it, ladies. 
just a few things from Dollar Tree and, and some Asian snacks. I will be uploading another video tomorrow, what's in my bag, so stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching.